Representative of California's 21st Congressional District, Jim Costa, live from Washington, D.C. Good morning, Congressman. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Jim. It's always great to be on Great Day, and uh, thank you. Well, a lot has happened since we last spoke. The House has a brand new speaker, but still the same old deadline with the government funding set to expire in just a few days, November 17th. How confident are you that Congress will be able to pass another stopgap measure? Well, uh, I'm confident that we will, but I hope that it is, uh, averts the drama that we had when we passed the last uh, continuing resolution to avoid government shutdown, which took us to uh, just a few hours before our deadline with a lot of drama that ultimately resulted in the uh, move to vacate the chair of the speaker. Um, this has been in discussion for o over a month now. We know the looming deadline is November 17th, and I think that a clean resolution to extend it until mid-January uh, certainly would be easy, easily doable. But I think there is a, um, a division within the Republican conference as to whether or not to go with a clean uh, continuing resolution to a time certain as we finish our budget uh, negotiations or whether or not it should be attached with other political agendas, which I think would uh, certainly become problematic. And, and then we'd have to rely on the Senate, hopefully, to send some bipartisan stopgap measure to avoid a government shutdown. But uh, this has not been resolved yet. And as I've told you before, it's irresponsible ever to vote to shut government down. We would have over 10,000 federal employees in my district alone that would, would be without a paycheck. Well, uh, the other thing that's happened since we last talked, and it's been quite a bit, that's the <clears throat> Israeli Hamas uh, war that's going on. Where does Congress stand now when it comes to any aid to Israel? Well, yesterday marked the uh, one month uh, since uh, Hamas uh, attacked Israel, killing over 1,400 uh, Israeli citizens, uh, 36 American citizens, the largest uh, death uh, toll taken upon uh, Jewish people since the Holocaust. Um, but uh, clearly, um, Israel has taken a offensive efforts to, to uh, basically eradicate Hamas from the Gaza Strip. It's come with significant loss of Palestinian lives, uh, clearly. Uh, but Hamas uses the Palestinians as human shields. Yesterday, 70 trucks came in with humanitarian aid that included medical supplies, food, and water, uh, which will be continuing. And we've urged the Israeli government to look at pauses to try to uh, protect and save as many Palestinian lives as humanly we, we can. Uh, and, and therefore, Israel has a right to defend itself. Negotiations are taking place to uh, get uh, Hamas to release all of the 240 hostages that they are holding. And mind you, they're holding these hostages, uh, children, elderly, uh, in, in a most horrific way, uh, which, you know, defies any sort of uh, logics of, of conflict. So uh, we're trying to do everything we can uh, to limit the extent of this, this war, this conflict at this time. And there's also Russia's war against Ukraine. And talk of uh, sending aid to Ukraine, where does that stand in all this? Well, the administration has proposed a package uh, that would provide somewhere in the neighborhood of $105 billion, aid to Israel, aid to Ukraine, humanitarian aid that would benefit, by the way, uh, 120,000 Armenian refugees that have been removed from their historic land in nagorno korva and are currently have been relocated into Armenia. So that is obviously very important as we look at the humanitarian aid, assistance to Taiwan, as well as resupplying America's defenses because in our efforts to support Ukraine and Israel, a lot of our own uh, military uh, hardware has been uh, ex uh, utilized and we have to build up our own supplies. Now there are some that want to hold hostage uh, funding for Ukraine on the Republican conference for border security. I don't think that's necessary. We need to improve our border security for sure. And it's my hope that the package that is being worked on in the Senate will be a bipartisan package that will provide 
funding for Ukraine, funding for Israel, humanitarian aid for Taiwan, for the refugees that are in Armenia, as well as for border security. But that's what we're trying to work out now. Um, and uh, it has to happen sooner than later because of the needs in Ukraine. Uh, and so uh, time is of the, uh, of the necessity at this point.